pack light. You have a choice to so pack light. Pack light. Get your stuff in order and pack light. Pack light. Don't have to carry it all. Pack light. Pack the noise and welcome back to another episode of kicking it with key and i know it's been a long time but i have a really good reason and i'm gonna tell you in just a second i said one day all them bags gonna get in your way one day all them bags gonna get in your way so pack light i'm so ready for pack light with kicking it with key my diva so make sure that y'all are there okay it's gonna be amazing make sure you're there pack light pack light workshop this sunday with kicking it with key are you packing light friends 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 on Sunday, I had the amazing opportunity to curate an event in a workshop series on packing light. As you all know, I my work is centered around mindfulness, self-care, and community care. And I'm super excited to just give it all to you. But that first workshop was so amazing. Um, the purpose of the workshop is the kind of idea of Bag Lady by Erica Badu. And in that in that song, one of the sentences she said that sticks out the most to me is you can't hurry up because you got too much stuff. And you know, with Kicking It With Key, I'm all about cutting the noise so you can get closer to purpose. And when she said you can't hurry up because you got too much stuff, immediately I'm thinking, if you are too heavy, you can't get where you're going and you can't be on the path that you've been called to be on. And so that is how Pack Light was born. And I'm so excited because we had an amazing group of women. It wasn't just for women, but though that's what I attracted, you know, and I can't help that, okay? Um, women of color, but, but black women. And so I had such an amazing time providing the space for them to truly dive into the best self-care practices that can work for them. And this is only part one. Let's talk a little bit about my experience with Pack Light and some of the things I did to prepare for it because I want you all to be involved in part two if you weren't able to be with us in part one, okay? Because it's a treat you don't want to miss. So during our time together, we took a journey, a journey through the things that have brought us to this current point that we are on, right? And so I won't give you specifics because I want you to tune into the next one. But the biggest question I want to ask you is, what are the things on your journey that are contributing to you getting to your future goals? And what are the things on your journey that are keeping you and hindering you from getting to your future goals? That is the question I want you to ponder. And if you are struggling with the answer or if you're struggling with getting through some of those things and surrendering to the highest good in your life, then you need to be at Pack Light. If you struggle with practicing self-care on a regular basis, intentionally and radically, you need to be at the next Pack Light. And so in these next few moments, I'm going to show you some highlights and some different things from the journey to get to Pack Light because I think it's so important for you all to know about the preparation about what it took for me to get to the point where I could create a workshop that really catered to the needs of the people. And then also, I'm gonna show you a little clip of like the wonderful women that were able to be a part of this. And so thank you so much for tuning into this episode. This is the road to Pack Light. This is the work that I do. And if you would like to be involved in this work, I am now releasing my official website. You can find it in the details below as well as all of my other information so that you can be at the next pack light and you can now have a lighter load through life. And don't just listen to me. Make sure you read some of the things that the other women had to say about their experience at pack light. Pack light. 
super excited because today I'm taking some pictures and doing some promo for Pack Night. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'm giving you details, okay? I'm giving you outfits. I'm giving you all of it today. Oh, I'm going to show you these socks too. I'm giving you, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, y'all, it is a wrap. <laughs> Got some videos for you and some pictures. Promotion for Pack Light. Look out for tickets soon. I'm so excited. Let me not trip over myself because I'm too excited. a duet but they're still doing it mm -hmm. i like that i'm gonna Thank i'm gonna you. think about how i can make it fit because i do like the idea of saying what it what um what you the do's and don'ts of packing like, like on a journey. and like even making it about the fact that we're, we're on a journey and you know how i had a whole youtube episode about honoring the journey already yeah right um oh and i've been wanting to you know the the i don't know if you all know this poem um but it was on my youtube episode and it's called won't you celebrate with me by lucille clifton um and it's basically like her talking about won't you celebrate me this life that i've shaped out of like the worst of times but i formed it myself and won't you celebrate won't you celebrate with me that everything that has tried to kill me has failed Okay. And so I could do some reel of some sort where I talk about that. My computer just loves to die when I'm in the mist. When I'm in oh, the mist. Oh, computer and Jazz's phone must be cousins. Girl. They are friends. <laughs> they are family and they are foes. Okay. They are all of them. Sorry, I could help it. Definitely up. Uh, Girl, it's crazy because I can I can work on my computer for forever, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, I, you know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Um, but yes, okay. Um, but yes, I was thinking. I don't know, even I don't know, because you know you can put stuff behind you, and then you can be in front of it talking. That's the other thing I thought about. I like that. Because yeah. then I think it, it ties in more the aspect of like, you know, what's the purpose behind me starting, you starting a series and how it ties into making it about self-care. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is a really good idea. And also that Calypso is like, these are the things that you should let go of when you pack life. Because that's the first thing to think of when I'm thinking about, okay, how is pack life tied to self-care? It's really just about being able to... I'm just saying and shout out to my girl Nezzy who actually is the song that you hear at the very beginning she did her beautiful rendition of a you know packing light so I loved it um y'all take care um I dedicate this episode to all of the wonderful pack light participants and the future participants that will join us next time and of course my girls at Melanade because they were instrumental in making this possible so go check them out details below for that as well and i will see y'all again soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit me up love y'all for real peace <laughs> yes you have a choice so pack light Pack light, get your stuff in order and pack light. Pack light, don't have to carry it all. Pack light.